up everybody welcome to my channel pretty aura here i am here to read your messages for i guess mid-august to um uh, mid-september just because i have done august readings already um if you find that um you're looking for more of me you want more of me you want to hear more of my readings you want more messages um like i always tell you guys check in your sun moon rising and even venus you can even even check your north your north node okay um i'm a firm believer in you know most of the time if you sit down and watch um if you come across a video it is be, it's for a reason right so you guys can watch all different um readings of mine also you can go in tarot topics um where there are timeless videos okay which are um, you know um, which have topics, right? So you go on my playlist and you look for that. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Happy birthday, Leo. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, I know, you know, we're going through a crisis um, as far as health is concerned. Um, but I still do hope since things are lightened enough that you guys could get out there and have a good time. We know you guys like to have a good time. <laughs> Okay, um, I want to thank you guys um, so much for um, supporting my online shop. Um, I have about three sage bundles left. They're almost sold out as well. And for that, I will be putting my witchcraft break breaker dry dry bath. Okay, this is a dry bath, and also my seven plants um, blessing bath. Okay, so you guys um, take advantage of that. Those are going to be five dollars off okay let's get into your message you're watching this video if you are a leo sun moon rising venus and you're also watching this video if you're looking for answers in reference to a leo sun moon rising venus um leo okay there's a sense of freedom here there's a sense of freedom that i'm picking up right off the bat somebody's dealing with someone who's like in jail and they're like <laughs> you wait till i get out of here i'm gonna like, I'm going to come straight to your house. And somebody, there's, there's the energy of a threat here. There's the energy of a threat that I'm picking up from somebody who is either behind bars or someone who is um, stuck in life, okay? There's something about where this person is. They're salty, okay? They're salty. Um, I feel like they have, um, you know, been causing a lot of issues around you. Um, you know, they could, and this could be, um, spiritually, um, I don't know yet. Okay. I, we do have the Hierophant here. Okay. So this is somebody that I'm getting like somebody who's very arrogant. Okay. Um, this is coming from someone who is arrogant. There's something about, and it could be a group of people, but there's something about, um, someone trying to hold you down. That's why you have freedom here, okay? I feel like with, with with breaking free, right? I feel like there's the energy where you're just like, what the, what? Why, okay? And so you're being called with the perception and centering at the bottom of the deck. Listen, stay in your prayers, okay? Because there's a story behind it. There's a reason why you're going through this or a reason why you went through this, okay? You're being called to, you know, um, not be pessimistic about the situation. It's center and balance yourself, okay? Get yourself together. Um, If you do not have all the answers as to why this transpired, that's okay. That's okay. They will come to you, okay? There's what I'm picking up. The message is there's a reason behind all of this. Don't get yourself, don't tip yourself over or tick yourself off or, you know, um, blow up on anybody because there's something about this betrayal that needed to, um, to happen, okay? All right. Let's take a look at what's going on. It looks like somebody, like I said, it looks like somebody was really trying to stop you from, from going forth to be great. It's like, I am going forth to be great. No, wait, stop. No, don't. Why, though? Why? Okay? It's like, so, it's like there's something about, look at that. Okay? Look at that. We have the thinking man, envy, and woman holding a heart. Okay? So this could be someone who you, who, um, you know, we're in a relationship with, okay? We do have the Hierophant here. You could have been married to this person, okay? And now we know why, now, they, why, now we know why the dog don't want you to roam, <laughs> okay? Now we know why, 
okay? Because this is some type of relationship, it seems like, for some of you guys, where the person does not want you to move on, okay? With the Patience card here, this could be a Sagittarius. Look at that. Envy came out again, okay? There's a lot of jealousy. And for some of you guys, if it's not about... um. If it's not um, about a marriage or a commitment to some someone that you were with, right? Um, we do have um, something generational, okay? This could be a family situation where, you know, you got a lot of people, family or and or friends that are jealous. And it looked like a collective effort to keep you down. But you are now free, okay? Look at that attachment. And this makes me feel like, um, you know, yeah, hostilities and journey. Okay. It's like, this is, this is like, um, breaking generational curses. Um, this has a lot to do with, um, being, going out after your purpose. Um, knowing that you're being here, that you've been put here for your, for a higher calling. But then these people that you left behind or these people around you that see that you're ascending, oh, they have a problem with it. Okay? They're hostile about it. Or this lover that you're leaving behind is hostile about it because it's like, all right, you're not only leaving me um, to be sad <laughs> okay you're not just leaving me but you're leaving me to go on to be bigger and better things and so somebody's salty okay somebody's very salty here um and i feel energy of a threat i feel energy of gossip okay and like i said this may um Pertain to several people, okay? Um, for some of you guys, um, you could be getting married, okay? For some of you guys, you could be getting married, and I just heard that this is the other woman, all right? Or the other lover that could be jealous, or you know, some ex of 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 your lover, okay? It's like, I feel like these people are working, are literally working on, um, they were, yeah, they were working and trying to see you lose your money, especially, okay? With the nine of pentacles in reverse, it's like they were really working on you. That's why you have freedom here. Because whatever this is, spirit wants you to know, listen, you're free from this, okay? But yes, this was happening, okay? This was what was going on behind the scenes, It's going to have a lot to do with money, the way you look, okay? This is, and, and, and on a deeper level, okay? Spiritually, it's because you're on a journey, okay? With the, with the Hierophant here, it has a lot to do with going on a journey to your higher self. And then the bots, okay? Because these are like bots. These are like demons. These are like sheeple, okay? For those of you who this resonates as, as it pertains to a spiritual journey, these sheeple are mad. They could be in your family. They're tight, because they wanted to keep that generational curse of, of, you know, come on, more fuckery down the line. And it's like, no, with this attachment here, this is some type of demonic force or negative energy, codependent energy um, attached, leeching parasitic energy attached to a lineage. It could be with the hierophant here, okay? Like a family tradition of fuckery, right? Now, fair, like breaking from it, breaking free from it. And it's like, they don't want you to. They don't want you to. Yeah, they don't want you to. These people want to keep you blind and asleep because they are blind and asleep. Hmm. But some of you, I, you, okay. I just heard for some of you, there's people in your family who don't want you to find love because they don't have it. Oh, okay. Because you may be getting married and no one else. <laughs> in your family i'm sorry okay and so they're mad and so they're mad you could be the only person in your family to get married not the only person but in your immediate family to be married right someone doesn't like that a few people don't this is like a collective effort 
okay? But you're free from this. And, and find balance because I feel, I feel anger. I feel anger coming from me. This, somebody could have come into this information and now they just pissed. Let's see what's going on here. Five of Wands. What's going on with the Five of Wands energy? What's going on here? I feel like there's even kids involved in this crap. Like teenagers involved in this. Like, why? Look at that. Family. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Family and denial. Family and denial. Like, like they... I, I feel like... Um, with unconditional love at the bottom of the deck, it's like, I feel like these people want to keep you in a cycle. I, I, I really do. They want to keep you in a cycle. And with the denial here, it's like they don't even know. Okay? Like, you can turn around and tell these people, listen, I have to go. You guys are toxic. <laughs> Okay, you guys have a habit of gossiping. You guys have a habit of, you know, generational curse, curses such as um, not taking care of your children or not, you know, um, certain um, traits in the DNA that are very karmic. And they're like, no, we don't. No, in denial. How we're living is fine. Live like us. And it's like, no, I'm on a journey. Okay. No, I'm, 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 I'm aiming higher to break generation, generational curses. It's like you, you can give these people, you can tell these people about themselves. They don't want to hear it. They're in strong. Like it, it's, it's crazy. Look at that denial. And I feel like with the three of pentacles, it's a collective effort of denial. Like they go to the church of denial. <laughs> like they all worship at the, at the, at the temple of denial like something is wrong here okay and it's like you know this and you're trying to and you're trying to break this but this is family with the unconditional love at the bottom of the deck and exhaustion exhaustion it's like yeah i do love them but i'm tired of the bs okay and so that's why you are taking on the energy of the fool and, and the energy of freedom and leaving and, and finding balance within your life because i do feel like there's some energies um in the dna i mean um characteristics in the dna demons or whatever you want to call it right curses in the dna that you are literally trying to break through and break free from okay so it's like still trying to find your balance in reference to that but still dealing with the jealousy of these people because you're doing things different than than how they have always done it which was toxic in the first place so are they mad because you're breaking these curses um, and they like them because they in denial or are they mad because it's you? Okay. Either way, you don't got time to stick around and find out. <laughs> you don't have time, Leo. You don't have time. But somebody just has to do with a Capricorn. I don't know if you got somebody has a bulldog or something. Something, a, a pet. There's something about a pet here. Yeah, like, I feel like people are really trying to hide their hostilities towards you, okay? And it's because they're unstable. This is because, this, this is because they're unstable, okay? And you really want to be careful because, you know, family, okay, like I said, family is here. But these people, it really feels like with the energy of the denial and the four of pentacles, okay, and the knight of pentacles, it's like... Wrong and strong. Okay? It's like, yeah, we're unstable. Um, you know, these people are unstable. And also, you have some people that are trying to hide it from you. Okay? So, smile in your face um, energy. Okay? But they're backstabbers. Okay? They smile in your face. This is backstabbers. This is backstabbers. Okay, you got to be real careful. And it's sad because this is family about who you, you know, okay. But you do have freedom here. Okay, you guys, which is very good because you're breaking free from this. Somebody is literally moving out of the, okay. For somebody, oh, Georgia, I don't know. I, I just heard Georgia, for my Cincinnati, okay. Um, somebody is literally moving out of the neighborhood that they're 
a lot of their family is in, right? It's like a small town, and it's a lot of your family, and you're like, <laughs> good riddance, okay? And they're trying to stop you. You could be getting married, in, and that's why you're leaving. Oh, they don't like it. Somebody's name is Wishbone. Somebody, um, or name is Bone or something like that. Yeah, in particular, there's, there's, um, yeah. I, I hear somebody's father saying, like, if you leave, I'm going to cut you off. If you leave, I'm going to cut, I'm going to, I'm going to cut you off. I don't feel like this per. I don't feel like this person who's on a journey cares. I don't. Look at that. Okay. There's a mother and a father here. Okay. Who's just like, they don't, they're not, the, it's like the father's trying to control the situation. Okay. This could be a father of, uh, of your child or something as well. Okay. Who's just like, I'm, if you leave, I'm not going to help you no more. Okay. There's threats. There's threats here. There's threats. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to be happy without me. These people are toxic. These people are very toxic. This situation is very toxic. And I feel like with the freedom and the balance, like it's like somebody wants to go. Somebody has a child who's a dancer. Okay. Or something of that nature. And I feel like this is even better. Wherever you're going is even better for them, okay? Something about this child that's special. Yeah. With the anxiety and all tied up, it's like they, they really try to keep you stuck. These people try to keep you stuck. And, and, I'm, and I'm pretty sure it's, you know, through, you know, it could be through magic or it could be through how, take this however it resonates, okay? Because with the freedom and all this binding energy, it literally feels to me like a binding spell, especially with the hierophant and attachment here, okay? It, it, it definitely feels like a binding spell. But this could just be, um, you know, through their words and actions, okay? So you take that um how it resonates i feel like rapunzel rapunzel let down your hair i really feel like this was a collective effort to keep you down and out and stuck okay i really do this was a collective effort I really feel something about um, Romeo and Juliet. Um, deception and envy is here, you guys. Like I said, these people are jealous. These people are jealous. There's some. There's a particular person where every time they hear your name, it's like they're they're praying on your downfall, praying on. They can't wait to hear something bad about you. Something about fly. There's something about fly. That could be somebody's nickname or something. Yeah, every time you get an opportunity, it blows this person's mind. Every time they hear about you got an opportunity, they're so mad. They're so mad. There's a particular person out of, out of this. Okay? Whole situation. And he gets pissed. Could be a fire sign. Could be a um a, an earth sign. Okay? Pissed. These people could be jealous of your children as well. Lord. They're so mad because you cut them off and you made alterations, alterations in your life, okay? They're so very upset. But Spirit is saying, listen, we know that you know this is going off. Try to center yourself in the midst of all of, all of this. Okay, because some of you guys haven't even left yet. This is energy that's going to come in. But some of you are still sitting around or in earshot of or in the environment with these jealous individuals. Okay, spirit is saying, listen, stay prayed up. 
watch how you're looking at these things because I feel like you guys feel like you're being chased a little bit. You feel anxiety because it's like, leave me alone. <laughs> okay? Leave me alone. Spirit is saying, just watch how you're looking at this, okay? Because these people can't go where you're going and it had to happen that way. All right? I really hope this helped you guys.